finished at Robe and now we're off for the second leg of the journey and that's back to Taylor and Ben for tonight and then Adelaide tomorrow. Ben train. It's uh, the old train that's in the little kiddies play park. I'm presuming it used to travel on the train tracks here. It's seen a lot of better days by the look. I don't think they've got any history on the train here. No. Oh, yeah, around the other side is steps to get up on the back of the train that you can get up and the kids can climb in and have a look around, I presume. Although that surprises me. I think kids break a fingernail nowadays and somebody's ready to sue. Yeah, there's the steps to get up on the train, the back of the train and have a look. I'm not. Yep. Hello. We got a some sort of plaque here. Let's see if it's still readable. There we go. <sighs> RX Class Steam Automotive, number 201. Just technical details, cylinders, heating surface, and what it was built out of, basically. Arrived ex-ship Dunslaw. Last run, October... 1965 at Tail and Ben Playground since 1611 1967. There you go. That white thing is a big old water tower that used to fill the steam automotives. So now we've left Tail and Bend and
and we're off to a little town called Handorf. Handorf is a little early German settlement that is well known for their beer fest and just for their quaint little town. So let's have a look. going through Mount Barker at the moment before we get to Handorf. See, it's quite a busy little tourist town. Okay.
Grab a table while you go in and. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I better go in. Now coming into Adelaide.
Ride Horse Motel and we're staying in room number three. Mm. Oh yeah, nice and clean enough. Plenty of beds. Nice table and chairs, little fridge. Bench space. And bathroom. Very basic, but all right. It's clean, it's dry. I'll tell you later on if it's comfortable. Uh. Well, today we're at Semaphore Beach. So this is probably one of the last times I'll be able to get down to the beach on this trip. So I'm bringing you along with me. So let's have a look at it. This is the entryway in. And this is a really nice one. It looks really good. Nice and easy. Certainly a lot easier access than what the other ones had. So, as I'm on my walking stick, it may take a little while. But we'll get there in the end. So I will probably fast forward this for you. The sand is so fine. That's the large, large hotel just over there. Yeah. Okay. It is, isn't it? Love to take some of this sand home with us. Barney loves to play in sand. <laughs>
Here we have the Largs Bay pub, hotel, whatever it is. This was actually built and standing here well before anything else here. What a gorgeous old building. So before all them, before all them, It would have been an absolute grand old thing in its day. <laughs> so, there was Semaphore Beach. Beautiful beach. The sand was just, was like powder. It was beautiful, lovely and white. Um, lovely clean beach for miles and miles. Um was icy cold though right on the water the walkway went right up and over the hill and down a bit further they had extra matting there which i probably could have taken my trolley up there and then sat there for a while and just took it all in on a nicer day it would have been absolutely beautiful but I think I've had enough of the sea for now and now it's time to move on somewhere else and maybe get some lunch. So we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, don't look at the hair. Well, here we are at Krispy Kreme. This is where they make all the donuts. haven't got the machines running today. I was going to show you how they make the donuts. Never mind. Well, that's it for Adelaide. We're now headed off to Renmark. Yeah, don't look at the hair. It was another rough night. <laughs> One thing I'll say, I will be so glad to get back into my own bed. Nothing is like your own bed. <laughs> These motel rooms, honestly, their beds are like bricks. But anyway, it's been a great holiday. It's not quite over yet. So off to Renmark today where we'll be staying at the Big Four Caravan Park in a cabin. Um, 
fairly close to the River Murray and that'll be nice sitting back there tonight having a last holiday drink while we contemplate going home the next day. Here we are at Wakery and just getting some of the silo art. That great big yabby. Gee, they've done a great job. And over here we've got cockatoos. Mm. The big pelican filling his belly can. <laughs> in Wakery. And this is the famous Wakery Bakery. A lot of truck drivers and travellers pull into this little place. How are ya? Just looking at the moment, thanks, Dal. No worries. It all looks too good. Yes, thanks. I'll just have the pine sauce. Pine? Yeah. I'll have it here. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Yes, thanks. Eat this place out. Well, how lovely was that? That was 
the first actual truck stop come roadhouse I suppose bakery that actually had a disability toilet it was wonderful <laughs> you don't appreciate them until you can't use them I can tell you that so what I finished up with was just a plain meat pie and sauce even though some of those other yummy yummy things looked absolutely delicious but that would have put at least five pounds on my big fat bum so <laughs> I chose not to have them anyway I'm on the road again and going to have a look down near the river at Wakery and then I suppose we'll be heading off back to Renmark so I may show you some of the river let's have a look this is the river lookout from the top of Wakery it's a sight to behold when it's all in flood I can tell you that
the small town of Barmer, <clears throat> just before Renmark. That is Lake Bonnie. They've got a beautiful caravan park here. Very nice camping, boating, fishing, just walking along the water's edge. Good family weekend here. Nice little family area over there for the places for the kids to play. Uh, there's a cafe just here. Like a nice cafe, too. The lakes, it's called. I'm sure you can get your toasted sandwich and latte here. That lovely blue church. The other side, we don't know whether we've got English or Mexican theme. And this here is to be some sort of motel resort. Yep, motel. It's a big place anyway. Beautiful roses up along the centre of the streets. Hall of Fame, a Pioneers Museum over there. Something to look at when you're in Barmer. In, yeah, Barmer. up here at our B doubles and it was a tight turn to get out of there. No, I bet it would be.
mostly known for its um, wine grapes. Uh, I think it's known for its oranges and possibly olives and almonds. Brothers that founded Mildura also founded Renmark. I think there's a sister city overseas somewhere. There's one in Japan, um, one in America somewhere. Quite a pretty little town. There's lots of roses. And there is a rose farm around somewhere. I think they have like a rose festival here once a year. sign Arbors with their roses are just beautiful, especially when they're all in bloom.
Bob is getting a bit of a makeover there, bringing her back to life again. It's good to see it's a great big place. Huge. Don't see many three story places along in small towns. Look at all these villas facing the lake. River. Oh, facing the river. Renmark Paringa Holiday Caravan Park and this is where we'll be spending the night tonight and heading back home tomorrow. Okay, here we are at the cabin and we've got a lovely little set of tables and chairs out the front which is really really nice. Okay. Got a nice little cabin here. Table and chairs. Couch. Nice TV. And a nice little kitchen. Very good. Just put this stuff down. Now, there's two lots of double bunks in one bedroom. And looks like a king maybe a queen size bed in the main room uh, let's see how soft this bed is oh yeah this bed is soft yay well with any luck I shall be able to sleep in this bed we shall see. And here we have the bathroom. Here we have the bathroom. Nice little bathroom. Complimentary soaps and um, face flannels. Bath mats. You know what a toilet looks like, so shower, overhead shower, that looks roomy enough, that's for sure. 
they used to be really tiny. And in here, we have ironing board, broom, mop, um, cleaning pan and broom. And up the top is a bucket. Yeah. If you're staying longer and you want to mop it all out, you've got all the things to do it. Or iron your clothes. Well, time to sit down and have a cuppa and relax for a little while. Look what I just found. Complimentary Tim Tams. And there's a little milk. Isn't that nice? I love a good Tim Tam. You going to show him the... Show him the room, eh? No, no. I'm just taking a video of the little ducky visiting the door. Yeah, I'm happy to, so happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know on the back of the house, mate. What? No bread? <laughs> 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 Today is the last day and it's time to go home. So just going through the park for the last time now, I'll show you some of the kids' play equipment. But there is the tennis court over there. And here there's a, there's a jungle gym behind this play area. This is a big like kiddies pool which it's really nice when it's all going. In behind that is a big jumping pillow. Here is the pool for the adults and the children. It's like, got like a big walk-in area. There's some little TPs for the kids to crawl in and out of and big cushions it was a very relaxing night uh, surprisingly quiet and the, the cabins were very spacious very comfortable there's the kiosk and reception area it was so nice to stay here I'll be back again okay we're heading over the Paringa River Bend River now this is the big bridge that's here and here's the river some more silo art over there
Paringa. You can say you've been through Paringa. <laughs> South Australian border Fly Station. Don't have to go through it on this side. back at Paws Resort ready to pick up my little fur babies I have missed them and I'm sure they have missed me as well Somebody else is chatty too. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Hey, you're home. I'll meet you out in a minute. 